Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm be showing you how to read your Samsung Galaxy S3 device right here. As you can see, I'm on Samsung Galaxy S3 running on Jelly Bean for you both Mac OS X computer and Linux slash Ubuntu computer as well. So let's go in and show you I'm on settings. Go all the way down to about device. And here you can see I'm running on Android version 4.1.1. Let me go and tap on that a little bit and show you I'm running on Jelly Bean. So just to show you some proof that this will, method will actually work uh, once you're running on Jelly Bean for mo both mo OS X and Linux Ubuntu type uh, computers as well. So first thing you need to do is go and go into settings. Um, go all the way down to developer options and if you don't have this version, let's say Samsung updated it and you're running on Android version 4.2. Um, go all the way down to about device, tap or keep tapping on build number about 10 times until it says you are now a developer. So about 10 times it'll say you are now a developer at the bottom. Go back and go ahead and tap on developer options. Turn that on right there. Okay. And right here into USB debugging, tap that and tap okay. So once we have both developer options turned on and USB debugging turned on, go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB. Um, here's mine right here. Plug it in via micro USB and let's go ahead and head down to our computer. I'm going to be using a Mac OS X, but this is the exact same steps for both Mac OS X and Ubuntu slash Linux. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so now I have a folder called Moto Chopper. I have links down below for the step-by-step -step guide for this whole video and link for all the files that you need, including this file, this folder, Moto Chopper. So just click on the link down below. It'll say step-by-step -step guide and download links. Click on that and it'll give you the whole rundown of step-by-step -step guide uh, written-wise and all the files. So here's your folder. And um, it is on my desktop, as you can see right here. So it's on my desktop, as you can see, running on my Mac. And like I mentioned earlier, it'll work for both Mac and uh Linux slash Ubuntu. So go ahead and open up terminal. You can search in Spotlight if you want. And it's opening it up. And here we go. Here's terminal. So like I mentioned earlier, um, Spotlight or the Motor Chopper folder is on my desktop. So let's go and move this right over here so you can see it. And go and type in <clears throat> CD desktop because that is where the Motor Chopper folder is. Enter CD Motor Chopper. So that is the folder. Enter. And now let's type in ch mod space 755 asterisk enter. Now we're gonna go and type in sudo space sh space run dot sh. And what sudo does, it gives you uh, what you would say admin access, like you would say on Windows. Um, so it's going to give you admin access. So make sure your computer has a password. Um, so make sure it has a password. I'm going to tell you right now, your computer needs to have a password if you're going to type in sudo. If you don't type in sudo, it'll still work. Uh, but I recommend you put in sudo just in case so you don't get any problems. So make sure you have a password on your Mac computer or Linux computer. And press enter. And it's going to ask for the password. Uh, my password is zero, so I'm going to put in zero. Boom. And now you have the program. Let me go and move this. And now it says uh, press enter to root. So make sure your phone screen is turned on um, just in case. So let me zoom out just a little bit. And let me go put that right there. And now it's going to say press enter to root. So let me go and focus that a little bit. So I'm going to press enter. It's going to say starting uh, successfully. Give it a few seconds, pushing. And there you go. So it is pushing. Um, if you if this is your first time rooting on your Galaxy S3, um, it's going to ask you to accept the USB debugging. So make sure you do accept it if it does come on your phone. So as you can see, it's success rooting exploit complete. Please enter to reboot and exit. So press enter, and now your phone is going to reboot, and you should have super user once it does finish rebooting. So I'll be back when it's finished rebooting. All right, so my Galaxy S3 has finished rebooting, so let me go and look for it. Um, and it should be right here. So you, there you go. You have super user right there. Let me go and tap on it. And there you go. So I'm going to go and install Titanium Backup and see if I do get super SU permission. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go and open it up, and I should get SU permission. Asking for rights, and boom, you have it right here. So remember choice forever, remember and allow. So let's say you just got your brand new Galaxy S3 or you unrooted to Jelly Bean and you still want clock on my recovery but you only have a Mac device or a Linux device and you need the Windows to install it. Um, okay, so as you can see we do have a um, root access on our titanium backup. Um, so if you do need to install clock on my recovery onto your um, Galaxy S3, um, go and uh, search ROM manager right here. Oh, ROM manager. 
It should come up. There we go. So RAM manager right there. And give it a few seconds. Install it. And from here, you can install Clock Remote Recovery without a computer, which is really nice. I really do like this. Um, I find this more efficient and much more easier than actually borrowing someone who has a Windows computer. So tap on open it. You should get SU permissions. Give it a few seconds. Okay. And it probably already went. So um, do right here install or recovery. So go and select recovery setup right here. Clock or my recovery. And right here, and right here it gives you automatically it um it knows your device. So mine is Samsung Galaxy S3 T Mobile right here. So go ahead and tap on that. And go ahead and uh, flash clock or my recovery. And it is downloading and it will flash it in just a few seconds, uh, which is great. So give it a few seconds and it should be done. So this is how you're going to get a clock on my recovery and also root your Galaxy S3 um, all in one video basically. Um, but this is mainly. So there you go. There's your uh, SU uh, asking permission. So remember this choice forever. Allow and it might reboot. Alright, it's successfully uh, entered into recovery. Alright, uh, cancel. I don't want to upgrade to touch. That's fine. And now I have both Clock my Recovery and Root my Device from a Mac computer slash Linux or Ubuntu computer. Um, this, like I said, mentioned earlier, um, I know I mentioned an ice cream sandwich video. I will try to find a Jelly Bean version, which I finally did find. So this is how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 um, quad, or dual core. So make sure your US or Canadian Galaxy S3, um, it will work on this um, to root your device. Um, that is how you do it on a Mac slash Ubuntu or Linux computer. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner. Links down below for the step by step guide. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All three links are down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.